Mike. Richard. Can I talk to you about my helmet? You can. It's gone past its sell-by date. No, it actually has. I didn't... I, they is that do. a thing? Yeah, they go out of date. And um, I've had it years. Thing is, I am, as always, about to go away with work. And I want to ask a little favour of you. Mm -hmm. Can you sort another one for me? Which I would do myself, because you can get them on the internet. It's got the size on it. I want the same helmet, same size. So it's 59. Um, but can you get, like, a little design on it for me? Okay, you want a custom job. Yeah, but uh, I'm sure there'll be people who do it, and you can find them on the internet. That, that's the helmet I always wear. Okay. This one's out so of date. It's like a flip front. So Schuberth C5 uh, 59 is the size. Just one of those, mm -hmm. but with a nice groovy design on it. Perhaps get some cogs type on it, so whatever. Yeah, Athlete. I mean, there's a guy super local to here that's, that he does exactly this well, for go. the big boys, the there racing you. boys, so. There you go. Cool. Would you mind sorting that for me? And you can film it and have a look at it, because it'll be interesting to see. Yeah. All right, I'll brilliant. Wait. See you soon. In my mind, there was only one place for this job, and it just so happened to be at my favourite racetrack in the UK, and close to my hometown of Edinburgh, and I stole Martin too. While I was driving up the road, Richard sent me the design he wanted, a very cool smallest cog number, and as payment for my mission, I decided to throw in a design of my own, an early David Coulthard Red Bull replica, because I'm sad. So everyone, welcome to Not Kill. Everyone, welcome to the channel, Joe Tanner of Renat Design. Joe, we needed a helmet, and my history here at Not Kill brought me to one place, which is here. How did you start in helmet painting? Whenever I look at helmets, I'm like, how on earth has that come to be? But you must have just backed yourself one day and had a go. Yeah, it was completely by accident. Um, it was just a hobby that kind of went wrong for me. I was working at the circuit, racing. I've been racing ever since. I've been doing this, which I think is why it's sort of taken off, because I'm kind of in the industry. I was a little bit arty, I suppose, and I was always kind of interested in it. Um, and I just had a go. I was racing Formula Ford with Rory Butcher. Mm -hmm. He didn't have a painted helmet. I did. I did a course on it. Never thought about setting up a business. That was never the intention. Um, I came back from doing the course, painted Rory's, and within six months, I had a, a completely out of control business. So you've already name dropped Rory Butcher. Yep. <laughs> name some others, and then the one that everyone will talk about, your Formula One helmet. Um, we've done a lot. We do, I think, 20 of the British touring car yep. drivers. We do all the British GT guys. We've done stuff with super bikes. Um, let me think here. Lando Norris is probably one of the biggest names. We did him in, in Formula 3. That's cool. Yeah, it was a really cool helmet that we did for him. Um, he was great to work with. Um, it was kind of just let you do whatever you wanted to do. Um, Ricky Wilson from the Kaiser Chiefs and Paul Hollywood. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little, a bit embarrassed. Um, Nigel Mansell was probably the biggest one we got last year. Oh, okay. um, Nigel Mansell drove the 92 Williams up the hill at Goodwood and needed a current helmet because that's a motorsport event. Um, so we got the call with like a week to go. Soon. Well, it's, it's good that you do replica Formula One helmets because yes. I've given you two designs here. Uh, we've got, well, Richard's one. How, how do you feel about that one already? I think that's a pretty cool design, Richard's, but from an from a artist's perspective. Richard's one doesn't scare me that much in it, other than the logo on the side of it. Everything that we do is stenciled mm -hmm. um, and we're obviously not dealing with a flat page. A lot of the times we have issues with designs being designed flat and when you're putting something round like your drive tribe cog on something yes. that is yeah, on a yeah. curve, it can cause me a headache. So I'm a little bit worried about that. Um, okay. But your one, the, yes. the classic David Coulthard helmet, um, I've done probably 10,000 sole tires. I'm talking it <laughs> up now because I'll probably make a mess of it, but a sole tire is I could probably do in my sleep. Well, I'm not against some tanner magic being thrown in. We've given you designs, but... There's not much uh, wiggle room with a soul tire, but... <laughs> um, yeah, generally, it's uh, it's fairly straightforward, I would have thought, with that one. Okay, okay. Well, let's get cracking then. Um, I think I'm going to be amazed by how quickly this all comes together. Because from what you've said... I don't know, I've maybe built myself up too much. I mean, it is a long process, but the, the time is generally in the drying of the paint. Okay. So with this one, we'll, we'll do it in stages and we'll have to keep revisiting it as, as each colour dries. But it's fairly simple. Um, yeah, we'll see how we get on. I'll try to mask it as straight as I can. Okay. I'm feeling the pressure now. Time to make cool hard proud. Okay, let's do it. So 
Joe, what I love about your play is with how amazing these helmets come out, some of it is so artisan and in your hand here. Yeah, it's my most important tool. If I lost this tool, I'd have to close down and there'd be no more <laughs> business. I've had it for over 10 years and I can't get another one because they don't make them sharp like this anymore because I believe children stab themselves with them. There's lots of tape It's broken this like 25 out. times, yeah, but honestly, and you should see the hissy fit I throw if I lose this because oh, okay. I can't do anything without it. It's just a really quick way that I've developed in measuring things and lining things up and uh, it's always in my hand when I'm when I'm painting just to get everything straight. But okay, so how would you it's use not it pretty. on the helmet just now? Well, just checking, just checking that things are lining up. So if I've got a center line and I'm using my compass. Okay, so then that salt tire is nice and uniform. Yeah. Like not pretty. I love it. I, I don't want to touch it. Super effective. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is another handmade thing. Um, I got given it years ago, um, and I've used it on every single helmet since. Um, and it's almost as important as my compass. Joe, we're all masked up. We've got our sort of Capri Sun looking saltire going on there. <laughs> that looks like a hell of a lot of blue paint. Yeah, so the hardest part, especially when doing something like this, is getting the colours, because we don't have any colour codes for anything like this. And nine times out of ten, we don't have colour codes. So a lot of it is just trying to work out how it looks on the screen versus how it's going to look in real life. Yeah. So blues, uh, we've got a lot of blues. We use it like a standard car paint. So all of these colours are a car from a car, basically. Mm -hmm. I maybe assumed that the helmet would be Red Bull Cam Blue, but we've got a prop there. Yeah. It's not quite the same, is it? Yeah, I don't think so. I think David's dug his heels in and not gone full corporate. He's gone dark. Yeah, and kept it that navy. Okay, and then I've got, I mean, this, this is kind of like a more higher definition picture. So I guess if we kind of go off so of that. If we go with that one, I think one of these is pretty close to the main body of the helmet. That one's way too light. Yeah, that's got some proper fleck in it as well. That's the one I like, I believe. Okay, yeah, that's as in the, main, the main part. Yeah. And that one's miles off. Yeah, that's back towards the The Yamaha is going to be close, but... I so you're saying when people get a salt tire, they generally go for a Yamaha? Yeah, yeah, I would say the majority of salt tires that we do are in this. We'll get the blue one for the, the top and bottom, which is basically yes. the bit. Is I think salt this tire. one here. Yeah. My eye tells me it's that one. That's my thoughts, that one there. Yeah. But I do think that that is probably the one. Okay, yeah, I'm happy to commit to that. I think it's good. Let's go with it. With the main Cothard salt tire coming together, we moved on to the nitty gritty of Richard's cog design. The cogs were printed out and then stuck onto the helmet as a template for the paint. My helmet is drying. Joe, we've got some cogs on Richard's helmet here. Which is the colour to go on first out of this lot here? So we're going to use uh, a white to begin with to fill in the main cog and you can see everything that we do is stenciled for stuff like this. You wouldn't do anything freehand, you need to get these sharp edges and it needs to be the exact image of your guy's logo. So we'll, we'll do all this section white, I'll then cover the white and then I'll do the, the gold cog that sits in there and when we pull it off it should hopefully leave us with the uh, Drive Tribe logo. Joe cracked on with the other intricate parts of Richard's design before adding the next layer of colour onto the Coulthard helmet. This is looking phenomenal. I know it's just kind of the base helmet. Look at that. Yeah, stage one done. So everything with the big gun goes on. So we've got all the solid blocks of color on there. We've also got quite a high edge there because obviously I've used the big gun to get this solid, these solid shades okay, on yeah, there. Yeah, so yeah, the next yeah. stage now is to be able to get that completely flat 
Once it's flattened, then we go back in with the smaller airbrushes and we can add the logos. There's always going to be little repairs and bits and pieces where the, where the overspray bleeds through using the big gun. But yeah, I would say 90% of the way there now. And I think we got the colors pretty much yeah, where they need happy. to be. We were kind of having a real debate about this one. Yeah, you saw it as nice. a different color than my eyes saw it, but I think it's somewhere in the middle and I think it's quite accurate. And then obviously the, the logo is going to sit on here. Yes. And uh, yeah. Wasn't that bad? So this is a replica of a, a 2005 helmet. And what I see when I look at your other pictures on here, helmets have become so complicated with their designs compared to... I mean, yeah. It doesn't seem that long ago. I guess it was almost 20 years, but this seems so simple. It seems strange to paint something like this because there's not even any drop shadows. Like normally with a salt tire, I would add a heavy shadow to make the, the white jump out from the blue even more just to yeah. give it more of a contrast. But with this, I mean, I've cheekily added a shadow here which you could argue potentially is like original, it. but I it like just, it. it has to, I can't help myself but give it some kind of depth, but these days, yeah, it wouldn't pass these days with what, what people want, um, but I definitely miss the, the days of simple stuff. Sure. So that's it for us today with this helmet. Yeah, it it will, yeah it'll get flattened down and then uh, logos and things will go on and it will come together quite quickly, I think. Okay, I cannot wait to see it finish, but honestly, I would take that home. I think it looks absolutely <laughs> phenomenal. Or you'd be an easy job. customer. <laughs> yes. I almost, I almost don't want to wear it. I feel like I'm going to just put it on my mantelpiece and just look at it. Yeah, a lot of people do. It has been so cool coming back to Knock Hill. I used to come here in my late teens, early 20s. It's where I started my journalistic career, actually. Also, seeing Joe do his stuff has been fascinating. I'm now heading off. We're leaving the helmets here, and Joe's going to finish up putting all the details in. So the next thing you will see is me back with Richard having a look at our finished helmets. I'm back. Yes, I can see this. Here's your helmet. Brilliant. Thank you. I've been looking forward to this. And here's mine. What? This is, well, I thought, you know, I've gone all the way to sort of years. You know, the least that can happen is that oh, I get my own. Let me be quite clear. What I said was, Mike, I'm a bit busy. My helmet needs replacing. Yeah. Here's the make. The model, the done, size, done, done. So you can order it off the internet and then send a design to a painter, and then it gets delivered. But what you did was enjoy a week-long road trip to Scotland yes. in my Subaru that I still haven't driven because you won't let me until Correct. I drive it on camera. Correct. And you got yourself a helmet. When I said local, local's relative. So local to me yeah. is sort of near the Fourth River. Yeah. Strictly speaking, it's local if you're starting from the Fourth River, but you were starting from Herefordshire. I mean, Knock Hill is an amazing place. You have been yeah, before, actually. You got a catering there. I have been to Knock Hill. Yes, it's lovely. It is. It's also distant. It's four hundred miles ish. You've put how many miles have you put on the Subaru? I think in total, I've put about two and a half thousand. <laughs> You've put two and a half thousand miles I had under to the run it in. I haven't driven it. That is our, that engine now is peak of performance. It needed to run in. I need you to know, I genuinely haven't driven it. Yeah. And I know I've gone on about this a What's... bit because it's been weeks now. I genuinely haven't driven it because Mike's decided when I do the first drive, which I will do for you, but it'll be great fun. Yes, I think they'll appreciate this. Keep it's going. got to be real and it's got Your to be authentic. Actual first actual. drive. It's, when's it happening? It's the 20th, exactly a week. Is it? Um, YouTube-wise, they might be far apart, but you will be driving your Subaru in exactly a week's time up in Wales. What if I get COVID or something? And uh, I can't do we'll it. Or sub in the TIFF? No! <laughs> I'm driving, right, anyway, right. Yeah, get stuck in. Glad you had a nice time. But you I'm looking open first. I feel like it's Christmas. Christmas. It's like Christmas, Big isn't it? Oh, oh, nice little bag. bag. Look at that. It's in the bag. A new crash helmet is always exciting. Why do you like this specific brand? Um, they are, uh, they're very well made. I like the flip front because when you're paying for petrol, you do that and then you haven't got to take your lid off. Yeah, it's much quicker. Cool. Um, they're also incredibly good at squashing out noise. They're very quiet. Mm -hmm. And they're comfortable. Different helmets fit different heads better. Here we go. Oh, my word. Yes, please. <laughs> That's Look brilliant. That. I love it. It's unique. It's got some cog, it's got some drive yeah, it's got it's got a bit of everything going on, isn't it? I like it. I might, I might put it on. You can only say complimentary things when I put it on. Oh, see, this is when you realise how old my old one was. <laughs> it had gone a bit baggy. Lovely. Still fits perfectly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. What is that? 
It's a sun visor you pillow. I didn't see that coming. Well, so Did that, you guys see that coming? Well, so that when it's sunny, you can't you do that again. Sunglasses underneath. Christ Almighty! Obviously, it's important to take this sticker off because yes. otherwise you can't see. Yeah. It. So that you don't get the sun in your eyes. You've I'm, seen those before. I, I'm trying to decide whether it's really cool or the most dad thing I've ever seen. Oh, come on. It, it's not remotely dad. It's cool. Be happy with the design. I love the design. It's fantastic. Yeah, he's Thank done a cool you. job. Would you like to see mine? I'd love to see your helmet now you've seen mine. Can you guess? If you were to guess what I would put on a helmet. Um, is it something Welsh themed? No. No, is it not? Is it English? Is it a proud St George's flag? No. It's not, is it? <laughs> what if I actually, a wee surprise for you, if I just give you the side profile. Oh, the, right. <laughs> it's a combination. <laughs> of your favourite things. Yes, and then there's going to be... Oh, my. That is very cool. Oh, that's Look a Scottish flag. That. That, that is extraordinary, actually, yes. All right, that is quite cool. So I'm going to tell you, this is a, basically a replica of David Coulthard's 2007 helmet when he raced for Red Bull. <laughs> Nerding. I'm nerding. Uh, it's got it. probably the biggest salt tire ever seen in Formula One, and then obviously the, the Red Bull attached. The it. biggest salt tire. Salt tire. That's the flag. That's, that's, tire. that's the crossy bit. Yeah. Why didn't you just say flag? Well, it's the Scottish salt tire. Salt tire. It's like the whole legal tender yeah. thing. It's the, it's the same. That's very cool. Nice jobs, aren't they? He's good at painting. Yes, he's the man. He literally does some Formula One helmets. So we are going to look. Cool as we, when we're yeah. scooting about doing stuff. We now need to book a shoot where we just have to have our helmets on the entire time. A track test, a bike road trip. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's very cool. I've never had a decorated crest helmet before. There you go. It's kind of special, isn't it? I like it. A bit of drive tribe going on. If you see this, um, it's got my silly head in it. Please wave and don't throw things. Nice. Thank you. Well done. Um, even though you managed to also earn yourself your own helmet and yeah. a week-long road trip in my Subaru that I haven't driven yet. Mission accomplished, Fernie. Of course, had you done it a little more quickly, without the week-long road trip, I might have had this ready to go to Beer Ritz. That trip did look cool. It was brilliant. Uh, it would have been even more brilliant if I'd had this on my head. But even as it is, it was a fantastic trip. So it was also nice to get some bikes on the show. Uh, and I think... Also, fully, fully embrace a shared midlife crisis. Yes, <laughs> that's when that happened. Well, if you want it to see, happens on the show. Yes, if you want to see yeah. all of this happen, click the link in the description below to yeah. watch Rich yes. Hammer's workshop series three. Yes, you can see me. I don't have this design on my helmet, but I do have it on my arm, applied in <laughs> the show. Click in the link in the description and all of that. Got it. It was a fun trip.